do in order for him to get a grip of that other. See, that one's a little bit bigger than that. That, that one that big is just... Incredible, ain't it? Oh, right to that, him. That head is bigger than your... Yeah, right to him, didn't I? God. Yeah, that head is bigger than your fist. I'm sure if he got you at the wrist, your hand would come right off. Oh, man. Yeah, that's just... The biggest one I've ever seen any damn where. Wow. It was a totally different kind. I was up there living at Riverside and Pleasant Valley. I tried to pick one up out of the street. Mm. Thought, I'd, yeah, that head came out and went there. It went, oh, oh. I said, okay, in the street, you'll stay. He obviously wanted to stay there. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's still a lot more cleaning up to do here. Oh, sure. But uh, the fish, too. Fish are looking good. There's perch, minnows. Oh, do you see the yeah, do you see that big one? Yeah. Isn't that incredible? Wow. Yep. Make you think twice about wading through there, won't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> I was going to go down and pick up some trash, but I might get eaten. Yeah. <laughs> that's just one fella I'm not willing to, willing to deal with. <laughs> God, they're coming from way out there still. Congress at fit. That's the mark. I want to party up there. At the top of the mark. Here's the Copa on Congress. Played here a few times. TGI Friday sticking right out over the Congress Bridge.
or near it. And that's the best place to go to see the bats, if you ask me. There's the bat observation area on the south shore, just under Congress Bridge. The bats come out of the bridge right there, and they fly out, go east along the river, out to farmlands east of Austin. And they eat farm pests. There's the Austin American Statesman. They're in the process of expansion right now. BCI has pretty much adopted this little area. And I'm glad. Ooh. Now surely we can hear that. The sounds of bats. A million and a half of them. It's broad daylight and a lot of them are wide awake. In those slots live tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of bats. And they're all Mexican free tail bats. As you can see, the slots have been lived in. The slots are there as expansion points for the bridge, which is made out of concrete, you see the bridge to expand and contract with the weather because as we all know here in Texas we get like 110 degrees every day for months <laughs> it's crazy I love it I wouldn't have it any other way but those magical slots are about an inch and three quarters wide perfect width for bats to live in they had no idea it was going to be like that when they first designed this bridge They fenced off underneath here because of all the guano, but also bats that fall and die down there. Didn't want anybody to mess with them. As you can see, they take care to put some signs up. It's been helpful to the people of Austin to have this here because it's educational for us to learn all about this wonderful mammal species, Mexican free tail bats. They don't need a green card or a passport to go across the border twice a year. They don't spend their winters here. They have a winter home down south. So they migrate. And it's great. And right over the trail here, where there's a, a way to get underneath, they have sealed up above the slots. So no slots right above where the trail is. But I'll try to get in here and see Now, during the day, obviously, it's going to be very difficult to see the bats. Anyway, this is the bridge you'll see, Congress Avenue Bridge. If you want to come see the world's largest urban bat colony right here in Austin, Texas. A lot of boating. It's beautiful. To oh my goodness, look at that. is ugly. That is an ugly animal. Yeah, dog versus possum. 